<laughs> um, an earlier start than we would have expected, yes, and uh, a little bit of a sudden one, but still not a not a not welcome one anyway. Hey, Tricky. Um, yeah, the reason is, is that they had to, like, reschedule a little bit due to some misunderstandings or misremembrance. Nah, no, not to worry about. Um, this will do. So, we have the wheel ready to be spun, and the players, um, Hellite and, uh, Darfun also being pretty ready by now. So, I think that, um, really, without further ado, we shall spin the wheel and see what happens. So, let's go. Free. Where's the handsome man from yesterday? Yeah, Stigeon. Um, he's in his home. Um, hopefully comfortably resting in his chair, watching some great content. So, spin it! Let's see some Quadro. Let's see Quadro. That's the one I'm rooting for. Oh my god, I swear I did not drag these. I... I don't know if this website is very rig prone, but, um... It sure looks like it. We have Quadro build! Um, I'll go over to Discord and notify the players uh, very, very soon. I um, mean, so, add highlight, add Darfun, uh, quadro build the first map. <clears throat> Good luck, have fun. Mm hmm. I wonder where is the guy from yesterday? Totally not the. Totally not in the chat. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Uh, let's see, are we set up? Wow, it's a Zymon. Okay, I'm a little bit uh, rushing to the start, so don't worry about this. This is gonna be Darfun, and also his perspective shall be seen. If we do this, then... Ah, uh, still not seen, okay. Uh, one moment. Then if I do this, then do the No, no, not this. Wow, look at that. You can... Infinito. Ah, uh, there we go. So this is Darfun's perspective, and then Hellai's perspective should be pretty good as well. Mm. Why are we missing one <laughs> of the perspectives always? Uh, create this. Uh, what did you do to the handsome bearded Lekshav? Uh, he is uh, just the same as the guy in the mirror. Gone forever! <laughs> Ah, uh, yes indeed. Uh, okay, so Darfun's perspective is not ideal. Okay, there we go. Uh, we have both perspectives ready. I can switch between them pretty easily. They rolled Citadel and Saprashenia. I would wish they would translate that, but I'm pretty sure the Saprashenia is uh, Conflux, and Citadel, I think, is Stronghold? Yeah, I think it's Stronghold Conflux. I'm not really even sure which one they're betting for. Uh, both these factions are really, really strong in this template. Uh, very, very impactful. Uh, Complex has a really strong early game with Manir start, having offense, logistics right from the get go. And they also get guaranteed schools of magic. Very strong. Is this a loser's bracket? Yep, this is a loser's bracket. So the person to lose this uh, match is going to be out of the tournament already. There we go. Dolphin is not using camera because Lexhop is in the. is the same anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Let, let's roll with that. Mm, honestly, yeah. I saw Darfman uh, for the first time after my match, and he did seem... I mean, he didn't seem like literally like me, but some of the choices in terms of how we look are pretty similar. <laughs> Name of the long hair, I guess. Nothing much more similar. So they're going up to 2,900. Could any, any Russian here confirm that Citadel is stronghold? So I'm not like completely bl blabbering something that is completely incorrect. Hey, Horst. If there will not be a 100 plus B stack in the final battle, I will be sad. Uh, this is quadruple, so that is actually possible. The final battle yesterday looked pretty insane in terms of armies. So hopefully we'll be seeing some of that. Like, I really wanted at least one series to be longer that I could actually cast, okay? I feel like that would be very exciting and very cool. But the one time that there actually was some longer games and a longer series, Stygian got to cast that one, which I'm a little bit jealous of, so hopefully I'll be getting some of that action too. Uh, 3800 and pass by Hellite. Oh, there we go. I'm not Russian. But you're not wrong. Okay, thank you. Fight this guy one because he cast a force field. You could learn some things. Yo, I beat Wafer, just so you know, okay? I beat Wafer. I do not need this, um, um, how do I say, force field preach. 
Skull Menace. Uh, where's the Catcam? Catcam is not for tournament matches. Um, if you really want to see the cat, then here she is. Sleeping peacefully in her basket, as she always is. <clears throat> this is all you'll see, though. I don't know, didn't watch it. Okay. You said you will stream three hours later, streaming now, what the hell, dude? Uh, well, Hellite says, hey, let's play 19 Moscow time. But then he said, hey, I gotta go 20 Moscow time. So here we are. <laughs> You know what? I don't really mind. I do feel a little bit bad for my audience, though. Who li were like, okay, I can actually go do something else right now. No Jeebus Roulette, I'll leave the evening. Okay, evening is set. Uh, yeah, my bad. It did be like that. Where can we see the standings? Uh, which is the command for the standings, Ruffy? Do you have, like, exclamation point bracket or something? Yeah, fitness? Okay, quadruple pixie. So, yes, we have... The... Um, oh, yeah. Hey, there's Dark Fun. Cool. Mm-hmm. He actually has that cool light behind him with Dark Fun as well. We have the blue conflux of Dark Fun versus the red stronghold of Hellide. How cool. How cool. Uh, White Rallyan. Um, the final battles are actually very usually decided by summons. Uh, whoever has the biggest stats and is able to outsummon the opponent can win. And interference is not a skill that you can roll um, generally in this map because it's disabled. However, some of the heroes that start off with uh, interference are actually not disabled, such as Krallian, mean that he has a very distinct advantage that no, almost no other heroes can have. Um, so he starts off with two solid skills, one of them being legacy skill, by that point, I guess. And um, yeah. He's a really solid choice. Um, so the I speculated that he could be pretty good, but I don't think many people picked him at all up until now. And he's doing it live! He's actually gonna be showing us the Corellian strats. That's amazing. That's amazing. So there we go. Bats. Oh yeah, Ruffy, could we have bats? Darfon equals young Lechev. Hellite equals white Lechev happy. <laughs> white Lechev happy. Hmm. I updated the bracket, okay. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> well, not only, but uh, not only for English people, but rather, you know, I'm doing it in the most understandable language for most people. And thank you, Jurashi Demas. Welcome, welcome. So, plus by Hellite, it seems like a plus buff from Darfun, and we have ourselves the match! Um, so far, there's not a lot of bosses that would be really good. Actually, that boss got by the Pixies could be really amazing uh, for Darfin to take, and it could take his tempo uh, by quite a bit. Meanwhile, Hellite ended up going for the Thunderbirds. Wait, no, he actually went for the Rocks early, and then he had uh, the Hill Fort that was able to upgrade his uh, Rocks into Thunderbirds, meaning now he has really fast units to play off of, and now he's doing the mind boost and the mind boost is way more effective because of the thunderbirds actually and that is amazing oh okay sorry madness um love you <clears throat> i mean thank you yes it's okay now rafi cool actually multi and working together fuck jam hey old team i wanted to go all in on hell but nobody betting on darfun hmm um, Darfun is, um, it's a figure that's not as well known currently, I would say. Currently, uh, 20 air elementals already. That's a decent stack that will be able to take the dwellings. I'm pretty surprised that he's not taking the dwelling that's on the road for passes. I feel like that will be the main stack eventually. Wow, he has just two back-to-back -back there, and then a third one too. He could pass through all of them and get, like, a really good stack going, even on week one already. I feel like that's a really strong uh, choice that he could go for. He also has the gold mine on the road too. This being the quadruple build version, you really do want to get a solid economy going so you can do things like building lots of army from lots of sta uh, stacks and so on. So, yeah. Okay. Alright. Why is Lexi so... <laughs> Yesterday he looked way, uh, bad, way better. Well, some days you're better, some days you're worse, yeah? Hey, Ender. I wonder if this is box that um, he is going for. The highlight that is. Uh, you can see the trade actually in Darfin's screen. It was 3500 that Darfin ended up paying to play his blue confirm. 
I wonder if Helite was actually paying for conflicts as well. Um, Helite might have gotten the faction that he wanted to play anyway, and he got paid for the sake of it. But I don't really know these players' preferences, and it's not the really as clear, especially taking into very uh, taking various of the um, variants of the template into consideration as well. <laughs> like shout scam double build. Uh, which template is this? This is the um, uh, This is the quadruple version right now uh, That is the whoa, I didn't mean to click that yikes and wait I didn't mean to do the slider. Okay one moment uh, What I want to do right or what I will quickly do is I'll uh, Get some heroes restaurant soundtrack going since Okay, okay, okay. I didn't mean to spin the wheel. My bad. Ah, uh, there we go. That's gotta be better. <laughs> then, let's see what's going on. Dolphin is not going for the dwelling. That's so surprising. I wonder why that is. Maybe he wanted to upgrade to Storm Atlas before he does, so, so he's better off. And also, the Golden Seed tab in guarding the gold mine, so Hellite is already investing into the economy. I don't think you should in this kind of template. Uh huh. And yeah, Storm Elementals coming out from Darfan. Uh, this will secure him way better access to the dwellings, uh, so he's actually able to farm uh, most of them without losing much army. If he did it otherwise, I feel like he might have bled a lot in every single fight he were to take, back to back to back, and that would have been painful. Maybe this is like the way better way, uh, direction to go. He will still be able to flag everything on week one, all uh, three of these dwellings, which will lead into an insane power stack being built, I guess. So that is uh, what Darfin is up to. Meanwhile, Hellite is looking to take a Black Tower. He's pretty low on tempo. He doesn't really have a big army going, and um, yeah, nothing of the sword. Yeah, animal, don't pick up that sawmill. It costs 200 moves just straight to get the wood. <laughs> I mean, it really depends on the situation, but in Quattro Build, I, see, I feel like you do have to invest in the economy somewhat. Uh, because, um, for stats alone, it's gonna be really, really hard to match your opponent, unless you, like, really rush him down, like, um, enough stats to out-summon on elementals or something like that. Not again. Uh, with Rito's luck, when it comes to getting control spells, um, the standards for his players are pretty different, to be honest. Can you move out? Oh, damn. I'm like a, I'm like a teacher that's showing a movie or something. <laughs> uh-huh. Monster, sorry! Okay, okay, it's fine now. Uh, anyway, to have the quality of Dolphin stream? Uh, we can try, we can try. Let's see... Quality inside a bottle. Let's do at least 720. No more, no need more for more on, uh, Heroes 3, I guess. Professional stream? Yeah! Hey, Karia! Boomer confirmed. Uh, in some situations, I can be seen as such. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be a pretty juicy boss for Dodge Fun. It, well, then again, it's probably gonna be Water Atlas, which is like exactly what you don't wanna have. You might wanna have uh, smaller bosses or bigger bosses. Actually, it could be maybe Air Elementals or Storm Elementals, too. Now, that would be ideal. That is exactly what Dodge Fun is looking for. Highlight taking object by object. I wonder what the box and the costume is gotta buy, but we can't currently see. Anyway. <laughs> Ooh, getting surrounded here. Uh, but he's fine. There's only like a few elementals here, so they don't exactly pose a threat. Ended up losing a uh, psychic alley. Damn, that's way bigger than I thought. Okay, it's not able to uh, pick up. Okay, building the marketplace. So he's actually building up the income too. Darfin, that is. Uh, despite investing some to the, into the economy, he's ended up skipping out on the gold mine that he had access to as well. So, uh huh. I'm rooting for Zymon versus you for two reasons. One of them, you know, and the other one is just following notification. <laughs> okay. It's Cyclops. Oh, Cyclops is behind the Black Tower. Okay, thank you, Jaga. Dolphin is showing overconfidence. I don't believe so. 
I believe that he's playing to the best of his ability. Oh my god! Do want the air Ellie from the boss over there? And he also ends up the, the, accepting the fire magic. Uh, fire magic is most likely not going to be used until the very super ultra late game. So him investing early, despite having the access to it, guaranteed from the um, mm, school of man. I mean, university of magic is, I think, a little bit weird, but acceptable. We got back old like <laughs> Uh the only way to lose like Ellie is to let them be hit too much. Well that stands for every unit, right? That stands for every unit. There we go. Also treasure being farmed, and he also has more ones to go for, but now he has a gold in order to actually have 40 units to him. But I'm pretty sure he, that he will not be able to afford the actual dwelling in the main. He is going for a castle hall. It doesn't look like he's trying to build the um, elemental dwelling in the main anyway. Looks like a uh, fine glass of cross or beer on the side of Hellite. Classy, classy. Look at those Zarthys! Damn, that's a good Kralion already. Despite being level 3, he has a pretty well-rounded stat uh, pool. Really nice. Good for battles, he'll be able to cast things. Uh, seems solid, and also picks up the logistics already, TM. Pretty amazing. Uh, seems ultra very late game, aka summon the lumps to lose less meat. When are you gonna doing that? Like, that's late into the desert already. At the very least. I would say. Oh, he is? Wait, he built a fire lead dwelling. That's weird. He's not neither gonna be building up the city hall that early, and he's not building into uh, Psychic Alley in week one. Did he just realize that he's not able to build that day week one anymore? He might have been uh, going for it. But only now realizes that he can't. Um, who do you support? Um, uh, I don't support either too much. I mean, I'm supporting both of them as much. I, I, the, it would be the more correct way to say it. Who loses quite a bit, but ends up getting the 35 wolf raid. It's okay. And wait, is he able to take that uh, behemoth? Uh... Oh, he's able to take it on this turn. Oh my god, it's so big for him. Um, suddenly from going from like no army. To quite a bit of army here in a pretty fast manner. Uh, 5 to 9, Unicorn Ship has no problem. The Wolfies uh, that he just got from the boss will be able to carry. Then at the end of this day, he's able to build a Behe. I mean, by Behe, and then at the start of the year, he is going to be having access to another. That is really fantastic news for Helai, I would say. Yeah, Navias. Is Zonfri as popular in Lithuania and Russia? Uh, nope, not nearly as much. Uh, in Poland, it's really, really popular, and in Russia, it's really, really popular. Uh, most of the other people that do play Heroes 3, um, do it not on a level that, uh, these guys do. Though Larry recently brought a lot of attention to Heroes 3 with his tournaments and such, so that's really cool. And another one is happening to, uh, soon as well. Wait a second, why isn't Lexia wearing a tie today? Because <laughs> they finally didn't run out of office in order to catch the stream. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Is the he gonna morale? Is he? Is he? Ah, oh, didn't. Okay. Humphrey is the number one game in Australia. Is it though? Hey, Vatas. Uh, I think the shirt is also my aim. Uh, making burgers and watching my favorite heroes uh, players cast and play. What a nice Friday. Fry you should have said frying burgers, uh, severe. Uh, that would have been uh, way better in terms of the way that you structured your message. Frying on Friday, you know? Kappa Kipo. Uh, show you <laughs> what? No, Aloy. Uh, the only thing I can show you is this. Multiple bees on the side of Helai. Amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And he also has the treasure to go for, it's at least not many, so he gets a decent chunk of gold here in order to be able to build up his economy, build up the creatures in his um, kingdom, and so on. Hell yeah. Fried. <laughs> okay, whatever. Like, so much excited. As always, I mean, how I... Well, the loser of this uh, series, by the way, is going to be dropping out of the tournament. This is huge for both of them. Uh, they're... <laughs> Look at the bee, go. Look at the moose faker, what was that? <laughs> it runs here with the Phoenix EI, which ended up teleporting the unit, and then uh, after teleport, it moved it back to the same position and teleported from. 
<laughs> hey, Stika. Oh, which plane did they get? Um, it this is the quarter version right now. So there's a lot of um. Uh, oh yeah, we looked at Halle quite a bit, but um, we didn't look at Darfin too much. It seemed that he ended up getting all the psychic elemental dwellings north, as he probably planned. And now he has a really, really good uh, power stack of Psychic Elementals, which he will be able to use in order to clear most of the other things that are left out on the map. So he will be able to pick up more resource banks in order to build up the towns, both for army and for income, which will then correlate into uh, a very strong late game, I would say. So both strategy of uh, Darfan and Hellite ended up, ended up being pretty good. It pays off, and both of these uh, players are sufficiently strong for now. Nobody is uh, falling behind that much, I would say. Jarlanum, thank you for your sub, hell yeah! Like a fresh Lexi, yep. Dude, I, after coming back from my like 8 hour journey on snow, um, I ended up just hitting the bed at like 8pm and I just snored all the way into the, into the morning. Uh, but now I feel like really refreshed and really, um, really good to go. So at least we have that going. I'm really happy that the uh, Stygian covered in for me yesterday. It was really, really kind of him. Uh, what are you playing in the second round? Uh, actually, I don't remember the exact day. I'll have to check in. Plot with Zellite is actually on Catcam, and Leshav will penis in a few minutes. Leshav is taking talking so fast as AK-47 shits. Hey, ex Xai, right? Xai, Jesus. I meant to say X-Lord again. <laughs> but I've, I've learned better, okay? Uh, any co cast Wait! I was supposed to co cast with John, but the game so abruptly started that I wasn't able to. Okay, wait, can we get John on board? Oh my god. Uh... Where's John? Where's John? Um, hey, game. <clears throat> So there we go. Um, I message John if he wants to come, then he's able to. Limbo file. Well, yeah, because I had to start the everything like real really suddenly because of the schedule changes of that line. Uh, but then again, no problem. And hopefully John will still come uh, come over. Hey, Rita. <laughs> Wait, was that Ruffy? If you want to get John, let's go Cassie. Yeah, so you can ban him on audio also. Nah, I wouldn't do that. I didn't make it to the bet in time. Unfortunate. Hey, it's us. Hey, it's synthetic sack. Uh, why play Kralian? Because Kralian has interference, and interference is not the, uh, it's not a skill that you can actually roll in Jeeva's top cast, meaning that the, one of the only ways to get uh, interference, well, actually, the only way to get interference is to start with a hero that uh, has it immediately. And with these late game battles, interference is a very impactful thing to actually have, especially when um, you're gonna be elemental spamming each other. Um, so yeah, I would say that's a, a solid choice. Go co-host. Oh, you wanna... You mean with you, Rita? We can do that. Uh, Rita sucks. Call. No oh, shit. I actually didn't expect to call me. Alright. <laughs> yeah, did. Okay, that... You sound like you're on a submarine to me. Oh my god. Uh, one moment. I, I might be on the wrong uh, device. Input device. Uh, testing. Is it better now? Yeah, wait, wait a minute. Okay. okay. I, so, sh I should share my screen or you're gonna be looking on your own? Um, I have no idea, like, where you are. So. Okay, look, uh, look at this. I'm just looking like so. Reshut <laughs> the legends again. Uh, what? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> I was uh, talking about your um, tab, I guess. <laughs> Farming. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, anyway. Would you, uh, what would you bet for in this uh, matchup? I'm really interested. Wait, what are the tons? I'm just checking. Uh, oh, it's Conflicts and Stronghold. 
is a stronghold three row because fuck this town. Okay. Uh, by the way, Darfan ended up winning the trade and he picked Conflux. Uh, yeah, Conflux for sure is way better here. I would pay at least like 3,000 easily. Oh! Uh, easily I'd go like 5,000. If the guy is like, I'm not gonna go stronghold because usually, like, when it's two good players, they're like, fuck, I don't go stronghold, dude. This town is like so high row. Like, it's either super good or super shit. Like, it's either so insane your opponent can't do anything because you hire like artifacts, army, everything, or it's unplayable when you lose. So, like, you don't want to play it usually. So, both players usually go to like 5k, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Both these towns are pretty strong though, right? Like, one of the strongest mm -hmm. towns. I personally hate strong for the reasons I just mentioned, but Fox is just super good. Like, Fox has no downsides whatsoever. Yeah. So. I would actually say Fox is just good and uh, the, Do you think that the current version of Squadron build that it influences much? Okay, you should have mentioned that actually. Alright, strong is better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh yeah, so they're uh, playing the quadra, so stronghold is better, huh? Yeah, okay. And quadro build, I assume they're about even. Maybe strong is better. I haven't played this version, so I by the way, would you consider maybe going for not Manir start on Confly on the, the, the quadruple version? Because Elemental always always gets um, Diplomacy. Um, sorry, what? Diplomacy is 50% on this version. So uh, would okay. you consider going for an Elementalist in order to secure Diplomacy? Yeah. No? Why, why do you care about that? Um, you know, like deploying some... No, lot... really. Depot is the most overrated thing ever. Like, come on. Okay, okay, I see. Interesting. So, both players are playing pretty strong right now. Um, Both actually are building up quite a bit of economy, and also probably going to be at least uh, double or triple building their main power stack, either Psychic Ellies or Behees. But of course... Yeah, if it... I have... yeah? Sorry. Sorry, what are you saying? I'm sa I'm saying that these players are playing pretty much how you always bet for now. Ooh, how oh, yeah. I pick a this? Come oh, on. That, this guy stole book. That air thumb, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Oh. And by the way, he actually picked scouting. Um I think he had like other skills to get, but he ended up um uh, picking up the scouting pretty much pretty early um. on. Picking scouting or like any skill to be honest is usually a mistake unless you have all of your magic skills that you need. Because you're kinda of hunting for magic skills in this template. Like because your hero might not get magic skills, you know? Like, oh man, I have no earth. Well, my opponent cannot jump around and I can never reach him. You know, this has happened. <laughs> and it feels like, you know, you're a pega and it feels horrible. And you have to like you have to make sure you can't let your opponent do that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, then what about uh, if you're playing this Manir? Would you pick up scouting if you got it on him? Because you can guarantee all the schools uh, of magic? Manir, yeah. so terrible. Manir can pick freaking, I don't know, like, Archer even if you want. Like, Archer is actually very good on Manir because, like, if you fire a few elementals, for example, Storm Elementals, you just get blessed. Oh, he does have scouting! <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. On yeah. Manir, you can do whatever you want. You get water, get bless, and you can even break weak too. Mm -hmm. He, by the way, picked up uh, Fire Magic at, like, level 3, I think. Fire Magic level 3? What? Yeah, yeah, accepts the Fire Magic level up. Uh, that's questionable. Yeah, I would say that's a little bit questionable to you. You can guarantee whatever schools of magic you want, so picking that up early... Um, pretty weird. Oh. But, uh, Hel I feel like Hellite is currently, like, so far ahead. He's playing, like, the better faction. I mean, um, he has two relics, oh my god, come on. I mean, yeah, playing the better faction, uh, I would say in terms of building a power stack as well, then is building a hero that's more suited for late game because he has interference with the opponent having no way to get interference. He has Just notice, he has Krillin. Oh my god. Yeah, what yeah, do you okay. think about the Krillin start? Okay, okay, okay. This is gonna sound really bad. Uh, Alright, I'm actually gonna review something. I, I was farming a bit on the smurf. Why the smurf like real fast? And um, from what I'm seeing in Hellite, usually the players on 200 points played better than him on average. 
<laughs> so like, I don't know, like what to say about him. Like, like come on, man. <laughs> Dude. Okay, okay. Uh, explain the crawling impact. What do you think about him? I, I think it's it's acceptable. It's okay, but I mean, all right. Why though? I, I don't get it. I mean, sure. Interference cannot be got rolled in any other way apart from getting it yeah, on the starting yeah. row. I, I get the reasoning, but like, like I I usually make hate of uh, sorry, I'm a hater of scout. Capital. Because sorry. I hate how you pick scouting on, on like factions. For example, you know how Coke has Jeremy, right? I pick Jeremy because mm -hmm. I want to shoot stuff, not look at stuff and know that I can't kill it. You know? Okay. But for for Stronghold, I think Shiva actually makes sense, you know, like, you have no, like, real choice, like, in Temple, aside from Gurnison, I guess, but, um, you know, Shiva makes sense. Mm, so you like Interference over Scouting? No, I mean, you're Scouting over Interference. Yeah, I'm also a hater of Resist, usually, yeah. <laughs> so I prefer to have an active skill, you know, because Resistance is a dead skill until the final fight. Like, well, that's the same logic that you apply to why you hate scouting. Uh, no, scouting is not a dead skill because it shows you, like, stuff to farm. Well, yeah, that's why I better like scouting, but you don't. Uh, what? Well, at least that's what I hear usually. By the way, second B dwelling. Amazing. So, 1-3-1, one, one, he... Highlight already has two behemoth dwellings in the mains and one external as well. That's a huge stack uh, coming up. Where is the second be? I don't see. Uh, what do you guys the opinion of a lower bracket player? <laughs> mm. I mean, sure, you can say that. But... <laughs> I mean, he's joking. Mm, yeah. Oh no, I mean... Meh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> These players are way more skilled at fighting control than you are. Actually, oh my god. Did you try to look past on demands that you played and uh, see if yeah. uh, scouting would have revealed anything that you didn't see? That would be uh, essential. No, no, scouting not help me at all. Hmm. But um, you know, you know, I played in a Smurf, right? Yeah. And I had a few games where I can't fucking con get control until two and four. Come on. <laughs> it's not your thing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, get started early. Uh, yeah, Feral. Um, Hellite had some scheduling issues, and so the only way to play today was to start early. So, here we are. Wait, this guy has DD too. What? Whoa, whoa, oh, wait, wait, wait. I missed it. Where did he get DD from? I think it was a scroll. What? Dude, come on. Are you serious? <laughs> How did you do that? Okay, Please, we, we have a balanced coaching. match. Yeah. Do these players do coaching for you? I, I need some help. <laughs> you need some help, huh? Um, I hear... Uh, The Fiend? What's his name? Actually, is a pretty good Jeebus podcast player. What? What? Hex! What's a Smurf? I forgot a Smurf's name. Fields! Oh yeah, Fields! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He could coach you a little bit. I actually beat Fields with a Piquadrome, by the way. Oh my god, he was so tilted, actually. I was watching him in Discord. He had a really shit mouth. And he's like, oh my god, look at this guy picking pack through. Motherfucker! <laughs> Dude, it actually was really, really strong. Ah, uh, yeah, I heard the mouth. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Hex also got the ultra tilted today because I uh, can't find control. Yeah. So he can't help free to that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, super mana on. Um... On the Hellite side. Picks up the um, knowledge. I would actually start going for Mother power here. Dude, why go in the center if you have it all? What? Look at that, dude. Come on. By the way, would you I'm pick... Okay, okay. Would you pick power or knowledge there? I would actually pick um, power by that point since I'd be setting knowledge up. Every time. You usually have this problem when you have no mana, you know? When you jump around in the center, like, okay. What do I far Oh, wait. I have no mana. Well, back to mana, I guess. So you pick mana every time. Okay, okay. No, so ask... there is no reasoning. Okay, sorry. Um, uh, ask Rito about Zayma's follow notification. I want context. Uh, 
I mean, there is not much, no, it's my usual, it's my usual, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, we got it. Uh, your original, mm -hmm. an original anime? Answer John Discord, oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, things with John or Sorton. So, actually, I feel like both two players are really, really close right now. Well, maybe mm -hmm. highlight is ahead by some, but both have mana, oh, both oh, have the D, okay. and both have uh, power. I mean, control. I would say, I don't know who's ahead. No one is ahead. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing, right? He has uh, trio, for example, which is alright. Mm -hmm. But if uh, Darfon has air control as well, that shouldn't matter too much. Now, the thing with Darfon and Fox, though. Oh my God! Did you see his game against you? This guy doesn't respect magic elementals at all. Like, wow, dude, I saw like the most tilting thing ever. So he walks in the road, he fights like a horde of gold golems, like all, all guards that like have fought elemental resistance, you know? And he's still like, okay, I don't need to upgrade my units, dude. I don't need magic elementals. I'm gonna fight with this unit. Like, oh my god, that's so tilting. I really hope he upgrades them this game. Come on. Uh... You cannot play with this unit. Okay. I cannot watch Fort Element of Barstack again. Please. <laughs> okay, okay. I see. No, Interesting. Hmm. Dude, like these kind of games that they're both playing right now, if they were, if I was watching one perspective, I'd be like, damn, he's definitely winning. But they're both high rolling to the level that yeah. they're actually keeping up with each other's high rolls. I mean, okay. Darfan doesn't look so good to be honest his army is like okay but he has only 13 pot elementals what is he his parts are gonna be right mm -hmm. like yeah i would not feel confident with this army let's say mm, yeah and also he's curiously bad like he picked up the water and fire which you usually want to have only one of and he has scouting as well which means what skills is he gonna want to go for uh, from now on so i don't know Hmm. Okay, Utopia. I mean, Utopia. Perfect size, Kappa. Uh, yeah, anything more would have uh, really messed him up. I mean, ideally, here it'll be two. Oh, yeah, okay. Big Nagabang by Heli. Dolphin go full bloodlust build. <laughs> yeah, that's why he will not upgrade the magic elemental so he can sustain the bloodlust. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Come on. Oh, that's... There we go, now we can upgrade. Ah, uh, that's a really sad top right there. Oh, by the Come way, on. this actually lets him upgrade the magic elementals and yeah, still bloodlust. Yeah, we... <laughs> We're only... Yep. Only three towns on the side of um, Darkfun so far. So, okay, he's not able to actually um, do any triple building. Despite probably having the resources to do so. Honestly, double, triple building, like... Just flag the towns, go in center, and then do it. Like, question mark, why do you stay in your zone? It's so bad. Mm, I mean, Especially desert might not be rewarding. Like, what are you expecting to get out of the desert? Literally anything. Like, with his current situa his situation, he can do anything. Especially with air control. Like, you know, if you have air control, there is even less reason to stay in your zone. I feel like this army would kind of struggle in the desert, though. I mean, sure, the army would struggle, but not the hero. Oh, uh, yeah, so you have to build up the army before going there. Uh, no, the hero is strong enough to carry the army. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, Rito best player lost. In <laughs> I mean, yeah, shit happens. Uh, Malian starts to spam, uh, spam elementals. Spam elementals, but he doesn't have any elementals to spam currently, I think. Okay. Building more income, building more behees, I guess. Mm, yeah. But yeah, this is actually a problem, you know. I lost. No, I'm gonna like complain a bit about uh, some some artifacts here. Iron Fist with uh, Berserk uh, Neck. It's unwinnable. <laughs> if you get to late game and your opponent has uh, Berserk Neck and Iron Fist. And he has 20 bears, let's say. 
What do you do? Well, you type GG, go next. Or you sit in castle until the end of the game and you force a draw. Because <laughs> it can never be that. It can't you? There's like, it can never um, be that. There's 50 libraries on the map. Uh, it doesn't matter. 50 libraries? He had 20 less stats than me. It didn't matter. <laughs> well, he comes in the behemoths and one shots 15 angels. I'm like, okay, brother. I guess you win. <laughs> I guess you win. Well, like, yeah, so you should just not let him set up like that, huh? Oh, yeah, sorry that he had Behemoth Dwells in the road. <laughs> uh, happens to the best of us, right? Uh, any info on what both uh, players need to break against? Uh, I don't think we see the breaks, uh, but whatever the break is for Hellite, yeah, after upgrading the Behees, he'll be able to do so easily. And I guess that's what he's looking to do. Meanwhile, I don't really know what Darfin's plan is. I guess he's just probably picking up the army one for one and then heading into the break as well. Uh, the timings are not the best, but they're going into um, a de the desert in a very solid situation. Uh, both oh in God. terms of building the hero and in terms of control and army as well. Ooh, Ring of the Wayfair. Really <laughs> nice RT. He's not upgrading him again. Come on. <laughs> he, needs come on the, he needs the art merchants, man. No, come on, dude. But why? I don't get it. <laughs> I mean, I think as I assume he, he hovered over it. I think, and I was like, oh my gosh, he's gonna do it. But then he's like, eh, I. I, I <laughs> yeah. Uh. Hellite is still hopping around. Oh yeah, he's probably finding more bead walls, so he can build like a better stack um, throughout the game. Here's the thing, when you have air control, you can do whatever you want in your zone because you can like... There are multiple breaks, right? You can run around, try to look for your like, let's say, whatever you want to find. Your relic, I guess, fourth one in the zone. Yeah, why not? And then... Oh, look at that! He can break. get the town next turn and that's right. Yeah, yeah, this is what I'm saying. You can kind of tell, you know, how the, the desert is like this... Uh, these four places where you have a town, so you can kind of just go around them and uh, break through like any guard and jump because you have air control, obviously. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to go on the road, you can just skip the road. In fact, when you have air control, you can reach your opponent. Like, for example, let's say you're uh, in your main town. If you have air control in four turns, you can do it in your opponent's main town just by going diagonally instead of going on the road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. So, yeah. What a nice help of positioning for Darfon as well. Should be good. Oh, by the way, did he buy the University of Magic yet? I... Oh. I don't think he did. He doesn't have Earth or Air yet. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what the plan is there. Yeah, he definitely... Air Magic should be a big priority by now, since he especially has the Dimension Door Scroll. Okay, Hellite is already fighting the break. I mean, why not? Yeah. Um, he didn't have any moves remaining, so he takes the fight into overtime as well. So he's not really wasting anything. Ooh, ooh has no time or what? Hmm, interesting. Oh, yeah. I'll say you have one of the best timer economy uh, managements um, from most three players here. What? What? You are made out of air! I mean, it depends, I guess, on how your map went, for example. Like, sometimes your map is very tempo. And you waste a timer like day five, and then you can build it up again, though. Yeah. I appreciate your sub, Manos. Thank you. Ottoman formal attire. <laughs> no, thank you, Paul. Uh, what is Rito next game? Don't want to miss it. Uh, I think it's tomorrow, right? I think so, yeah. Hmm. I, we, you, I don't think you agreed on the time yet, right? No. Hmm. So, to be seen. Oh, he has hiders, actually. Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sims are over. So, currently, I like this little booty in the desert. He doesn't see anything that good. I think the angel boss is going to be all spells. All spells if it slots, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's guaranteed to be all spells if it slots. Yep. Well, and if it's packed, then it's guaranteed to be hydras or monarchs. Mm. I really yeah. like the fact that you can read boxes very easily in the desert. Makes it a lot easier to make decisions. Yeah. Sure, yeah, okay. Kinda. Nine inch and bees. Although sometimes it's week four and you're like, hmm. Interesting box here. Uh, I'm glad I fought uh, 50, like, let's say, go dragons for 40 zewats. 
<laughs> nah, no way. <laughs> no, no, it happens. Ah, uh, okay. Mm. Uh, by the way, did you watch the series uh, yesterday? Mm, not yet, yeah, not really. I see. Um, the reason I asked is because I wanna... Uh, I wanna ask if you're afraid of Timon. A bit, yeah. Hmm. I okay. played against his Pumba Smurf a few times, but... Oh. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. His game's like actually really, really solid against uh, Fire to Sky. Despite him losing, none of the matches were actually played any uh, week at all, I believe. Well, hmm. Please, did he buy air? Come on, dude. No. No, 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 he didn't buy. It would be to you. Yeah. Come on, my guy. Did, there's no magic elementals and there's no air magics right now. Yeah, question mark. He might. Maybe uh, he's trolling the, the viewers, actually. <laughs> no, I don't think he's trolling the viewers. Uh, what about the idea of him expecting to be fighting the final fight immediately after he exits the uh, zone, so he wants to have expert uh, fire for the uh, sake of it, so he can fire all his time? <laughs> I think he just forgot, to be honest. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean... Sorry. Or he might not respect it. I mean, is the sec... The he might just not care much about the second DD, I guess. Question mark. He's drawing the casters. Uh... Come on. Yeah, I sure don't want to jump around. What? Hmm. No, I think he just didn't have anyone like... Okay, there's also this uh, situation where you have no air. Now, this is the gun. We call this the get me out. <laughs> you have stronger army, you break faster, let's say, but you have no air. And you watch your opponent with air, suddenly come. He is faster. You can't do anything. You just watch him take over the map, and be like, hmm. Well, I sure like defending this castle. <laughs> oh yeah, that almost happened to me versus uh, Darfon. I went to uh, his side of the desert and he like double dd would away from me. Thankfully I was able to catch him before much happened. Well, actually, only because the timer ended and he was not able to TP. Well, actually, I watched uh, Zeman versus Hill Light. He, like, remember how they asked if they want to replay because uh, wrong guards? Oh, uh, yeah. Think, I think Zima didn't see Fox Center to buy her. He would actually take that tree <laughs> because he had the worst hero ever until that point, and he was like destined to lose. But suddenly, he gets this Fox, hmm. and now he's able to play. <laughs> Yeah, I see. I mean, he was like triple the stats. Like, that map counts for something. Mm, not really. Like, he actually had such a good map. He had control for fish. I was like, wait, you can have control for fish? Like, that was the first time they saw, like, wait a second. What? What is that? I was uh -huh. getting triggered, actually. Control and fish. Come on. I can't get control for freaking anything. He gets it for fish. <laughs> Under his town, dude. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, uh, this is a pretty Maybe. interesting fight. He is breaking already without air magics and without uh, magic alley. Yeah, it's just painful to be honest. Mm, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but this is like a pretty easy guy compared I to like know, most the of the other things. The fight is okay, but the situation that he's in is the pain. Yeah, like I don't really see what happens off of him breaking. Like even if he gets mm -hmm. to the desert right now. Magic arrow spam. Uh, Freedom Psychic versus uh, Freddy Behees, which will win. Well, there's no, there's not that many Behees yet. You should upgrade uh, to Magic Elise on Lux alone. Well, <laughs> not Lux alone. Pretty decent fight for him. Ends up picking up the Earth Magic there. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is just clear, like, I don't know what to say, even like, just a mistake not to buy schools of magic. He did buy like... the Magic University. That's like the weirdest part. Yeah, but he, he buy... didn't buy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it... sometimes you might want to invest into your army and tempo so much that you might skip out on Magic University in some cases, but when you buy the Magic University, do not pick up the Jeebus Outcast Essentials, so it's like, pretty weird. I oh, might understand not picking up Earth, just so you can get, like, double DD as soon as possible, but, um, yeah. Oh, so you never skip the Magic Kingdom. I mean, here's the thing, it also saves you some leveling. 
You know, you get some leveling skips. Yeah, you, you pay 2k gold, so it's basically like the level up tree. I mean, yeah, it boosts your leveling up a bit. So mm -hmm. it's, it's always good. Yep. What does Quest say, stream? Uh, more or less, please. Uh, the skeleton shell for highlight ended up being a little bit different from what we originally said, so we have to start early in order to make it today. Wow, 5 0 in library. Why not? Huh. Five all. Okay, so how likes that stats are gonna like skyrocket across one or two coming turns. Insane. No, uh, yeah. I would say, I mean, not gonna be like. I mean, okay. I just think Kill Light is most likely one already. It's very unlikely for him to lose here. Yeah, he has like so many things going for him, both in terms of army, army like status, hero, current, uh, like. Yeah, just pretty much everything. Uh, so the face of sex uh, says, I mean, if you can have all four magics, you should. I think you should actually choose between water and fire, not have both. No, I agree. No, I agree. You should just choose one. But ideally, if you have, like, let's say, for the start, Muner. Muner is actually a hero who can afford to have all the magic schools. It's alright to have it. Like, you have a slight advantage in a final fight because you have, let's say, like, prayer, which is an option. But you usually don't need it. It's just like it's a secondary option when your opponent has berserk neck. That's all. Like you get a prayer instead of berserk. All right, well, sure. Mm -hmm. It's nice to have it, but fire, for example, I'd say is a bit better. But water is very good against the map. If you want to tempo out, water is way better than fire. There is that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what about expert dispel? Is that a big consideration? Yeah. This is very important, actually. It can come in handy like very often. Unfortunately, there is the orb for this spell, which can kind of make it super troll. Like, for example, if you have, uh, let's say, you have the this spell orb and you have this uh, iron piece, right? Mm -hmm. Well, if your point casts berserk on you, you cannot dispel it. <laughs> you can't dispel berserk. <laughs> Good wait, luck. wait. Actually, I mean, you can add the magic to berserk at least, right? Sure, but what if it's mass, you know? Yeah, yeah. So if you go Iron Fist with that, it can turn into a downside. <laughs> yeah. Hey, on an anime. Yesterday Final Fight was decided by one not having Expert to spell. Yeah. Down portal! Wow, just like that. <laughs> he suddenly has Earth Control. Wow. Okay. Alright, dude. Uh, how's man, it? Uh, fuck, man. I I'm gonna lose. I can feel it. He just stole that from me. My mother. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, currently, that all that the highlight needs to do, he needs to take one or two tufts, like with the ancient beast, and then he probably just runs it down the map over to um, Darfan. I would assume. But, uh, funny part this is he, this guy has their control to right next to his break. <laughs> uh, I mean, okay. He's getting higher out though, so it doesn't matter. I mean... He's getting air magic. What? He not get air again. Dude! Okay, he did get it, never mind. Okay, okay. He did right? Mm, actually, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, Helot will have more ancient bees than Darth and Psychics. That is actually pretty ridiculously so possible. Yes, he did. Right. Okay, so he has air magic now. Cool. No, it's actually pretty likely at this point, considering he has only 19, and the number will probably just go down from now on, so yeah. Mm. I assume he like to have like 25, which is the average amount. Yeah, for so, some reason I actually see 25 of many to some creatures a lot. I don't know, dude. Oh, by the way, when you play... Uh, I also have another question. When you play castle, do you focus on cavaliers or angels, usually? Like, what's the preferred outcome? I don't know, dude. I have no idea. I haven't played enough games with Castle because everyone goes to zero to trade for it. I don't want to go with no gold. So, can't tell you. Yeah, okay. Sam so, um, has the air magic now, and it's starting to build up some stats. Uh, though, unfortunately for him, it's probably going to be like a little bit too late. Unless the game goes like really, really late. In that case, there could be some possibility. Of a comeback? Mm, I would say... Okay, I don't know if you have to be downer, but this is probably over. 
Mm, I mean, if it goes late enough, then diplomacy could play a role. I mean, but he doesn't diplomacy, have... Diplomacy, my guy. But diplomacy, how do you beat medium bears? Well, Excuse it... me. Uh, force field. Okay, give me a unit. Give me a unit. Can depot. I can match these bears. All right. Um, Arch devil and force field. Are you okay? <laughs> I played too much Wayfair, man. I can see it happening, though. Yeah, clearly. No, so fun fact, uh, Arch Devils have zero damage. Dog shit unit actually does nothing, holy hell. <laughs> Imagine building that. So terrible. So expensive, does nothing. Imagine, like, actually tried it once, and I'm like, okay, I have these guys, you know, they look kind of cool. And then, when they actually hit, you're like... <sighs> All my resources into this, really. Okay. I mean, yeah, if you're comparing them to uh, ancient... Oh my! Failure. A lot of bet for a Helline. Uh, okay. if it... Yeah. He didn't make fast and he didn't build. So, a little bit unfortunate there, at the end. He also has Berserk Neck. So, yeah. Oh look, another Spellbind is out on the road. Darfan is chilling with his Turbo Army here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Turbo Army. Turbo Army. Oh, this is Hydras, most likely. You should go for it. Get some units, brother. Come on. <laughs> Get rid of this fish. Alright. Let's go. Press the Q, man. Come here. Yes. Good job. What? What? Why do you care? Okay. <laughs> okay, it's excited, huh? <laughs> Please don't go for this. You have no time. No. I don't think he has a way to deal with the train penalty, too. So this is like an almost like a full turn for the sake of that plus two. No. Pretty expensive. I'm not gonna lie, this turn made me feel bad. <laughs> like, can we end the game so I don't have to suffer? <laughs> and everyone's suffering here. Do I? Go, go, go. Can do it. Let's go. Okay, she's going. Yeah. He's going. Yeah. Oh, look, Imagine... another, another ear time on the road there. Have you ever seen someone attacking his opponent with an aggrieved bear? Oh. I haven't. Yeah, me neither. That's a lot of bears, though. I mean, yeah. You know, the funny thing is, an aggrieved bears are so shit, his main power stack is the birds right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he could have mana and he could have. Uh... I mean, yeah, he sees this and he's like, yeah, boy, give me points. Good job, Hill, actually. Not bad gameplay. Even though he high rolled pretty hard. <laughs> yeah. You should also try getting control once in a while. I will try. Okay. <laughs> Let's go bloodlust. <laughs> pretty balanced fight. Uh, yeah, by this point it's uh, formal. Oh, look at that. GG go next is what he says. <laughs> go. Okay! Game one! One by Allied. 1-0 in the series. Let's go. Man, Darfan, I'm getting disappointed, my man. You know, I saw his turbo games against Timon. Like, phew. You know, his his games against Timon are fucking insane. Like, one of the games, he started at Rampart, and he actually played really well. I was actually impressed. Uh -huh. uh, he had, like, he had, like, 200 dwarves, like as his power stack, and he was like, No problem, I can do with this power stack. He goes in the top place with 200 dwarves, like, No problem, I don't care, I just destroy everything on 200 dwarves. I don't need any units, just dwarves. And then, then he hires for tower, gets like 12 titans, 1 3 1. I'm like, Holy fuck, this guy's a prodigy, this guy's gonna destroy this tournament. But 